Hello, my name is Linda Wasselsu, also known as L.M. Wasselsu and or Professor Scry, and I'm going to talk to you about blotched dialogue in writing. Dialogue is really a lot trickier than it might seem, and great dialogue is one of the most vital components of fiction. It's responsible for not only conveying the plot, but it also helps the reader to understand the characters, to get to know them, and to love them or hate them. In fact, perfect dialogue is so powerful that if one were to remove all dialogue tags, the reader should know which character was talking. Though sometimes it's easy to lose track of who's saying what, and that's why they're ultimately important. Let's begin with proper punctuation in dialogue. And punctuation rules can make any writer's head swimmy, and punctuating around dialogue can be positively maddening. This might seem like a picky matter, but improper dialogue punctuation is a quick way to turn readers away. Therefore, it's ultimately important to get it right. In dialogue, the comma always goes inside the end quote mark and then add a tag word, said, asked, etc., before inserting a period. Let's look at weird dialogue tags. Dialogue tags don't need to be fancy or splashy, and their primary purpose is to show which character speaks and when. A common mistake is to use non-speech verbs as speech tags, otherwise known as bookisms, words like laughed, hissed, nodded, belched, roared, or surmised, for example. I have no idea what you mean, Jessica snarled. You know exactly what I mean, Jake laughed. Characters can say things or ask things, but they can't smirk, snarl, or laugh things. Stick to unassuming tags and keep it as simple as possible. Asked, said, whispered, remarked, or replied. Our dialogue should be strong enough alone to convey the tone we want without coaching the reader along. But if it needs saying, you might write, I have no idea what you mean, Jessica said with a snarl. And ideally, tags should be placed to perform one or more basic functions identifier, speaker, prevent reader confusion, make long dialogue sent sections digestible, elevate, maintain, or break the tension, provide opportunities to insert action or description. Tags are a neat way of keeping the conversation flowing without the reader losing track of who's saying what. In a long dialogue, a few simple, well-placed tags help readers understand not only who's talking, but who deserves sympathy and who has earned full-on hatred. Quite often, the actual dialogue convey conveys the bulk of the emotion, and there's nothing more that the reader needs to do except let the characters punch it out. Dialogue tags can also contribute to the mood by delivering the speech in a certain way. It provide, can provide opportunities to insert action or description. And when a simple tag is paired with a description, it can propel a scene, as in the following example. You're an animal, Sally said, and slapped Dick's cheek. Or, you're an animal, Sally said, and pulled Dick onto the bed. And there, then there's the dialogue tag without a dialogue tag. You're an animal. Sally pulled Dick onto the bed and ripped off his clothes. In this case, there's no he said, she said. Just action to identify Sally as the speaker. And it's more than adequate for the reader to know who's doing what to whom.